Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Oilers hosting the Hurricanes. The Hurricanes are plus 114 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 135, and the over-under is at six goals. The Hurricanes getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Oilers laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 185, meaning if you bet them that way, they'd have to win this game by two goals or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. And there's some decent matchups tomorrow. This is one of them. It's supposed to be Anderson in net for the Hurricanes and Skinner in net for the Oilers. Neither goaltender has been confirmed. Head-to-head, -head, the Hurricanes are 7-3. and three. The home team is on a five-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorites won the last five games they played against each other. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. And the favorite winning by multiple goals, laying a goal and a half is 7-3. and three. There have been two one-goal games in their last 10. The over is 6-3-1, and one, and the over 6 is 7-3. and three. They played each other twice last year. Home team won both games. Hurricanes 6-3 in Carolina. Oilers 6-1 in Edmonton. So we'll see if this is another high-scoring game. The Hurricanes are 2-2 two two in their four games, last four games. Five goals, six goals, five goals, seven goals. One goal in a loss, back-to-back -back games where they scored four goals in one, and then three goals in a loss. So hopefully the recipe for them isn't score four goals. We need to score four goals to win. Same thing could be said for the Oilers. Two and two. Five goals, seven goals, six goals, five goals. One goal in a loss, back-to-back -back games where they scored four goals in one, and then one goal in a loss. So it seems like both of these teams need to score four goals to win. I am going to take the Oilers with the money line. I will take the Oilers laying the goals, and I'm going to go over in this one. I think this will be the empty net goal giveth or taketh away, and it's either the empty net goal is going to send this game to overtime or the empty net goal is going to prevent it from going to overtime. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.